So dyslexic strengths, we've, um, I, I run a, a charity, um, founded a charity called Made by Dyslexia. And um, I have done a lot of work with um, psychologists and, and super smart people and thousands of dyslexic people too, um, to actually define what dyslexic thinking skills actually are. So there are, and we've defined them for adults, but we've also defined them for children as well. And for adults, um, they're imagine, imagining, communicating, visualizing, uh, connecting, exploring, and reasoning. So those are the six strengths. And then there are sort of sub strengths within that. Um, but to, to put it into sort of real terms, um, dyslexic people uh, are big picture thinkers. So we think holistic, we, mm-hmm. holistically, we see across a whole range of things and within one problem to actually get to the nub of it. And it's a real skill that dyslexics have. Um, in fact, GCHQ, the British Intelligence Agency, who we've worked with, um, actively recruit dyslexic people and spies for the way that they think because they can see across masses of information and get to, to the hub of it. Um, it's also a brilliant skill for entrepreneurs as well. Um, then in terms of visualizing or, or thinking in a multi-sensory way, we tend to use um, all of our senses when we attack a problem. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it, It'll be, you know, what we see, what we feel, what we sense, um, just just what we hear, everything around something to help us get to a problem. It won't just be seeing things, um, or a solution rather, it won't just be seeing things in a linear fashion. Um, and then I think dyslexics as well, one of the greatest strengths we have is as imaginers. So we're very good at seeing what could be, not what is. So that makes dyslexics very good at uh, innovation. Um, again, entrepreneurship, 40% of entrepreneurs are dyslexic. So oh, wow. those sorts of traits in, in, I know it's an amazing stat, isn't it? If you think of most of the great entrepreneurs of our time, um, they're more than likely dyslexic. So Steve Jobs, Richard Branson, um, Nick Jones, who's the founder of Soho House, uh, the um, Ingvar Kampman, Kamprad, who started IKEA, all of them um, are dyslexic. And it's uh, they ha- seem to have an ability to um, see problems before others don't and then find solutions to those problems. And that's what makes an amazing brand. Um, so it's those sorts of things that really make dyslexics brilliant. But they're all soft skills. They're all um, the, the the sort of right-brained feminine skills, if you like, that we don't really rate in education. Those are the things we don't put importance on and we don't measure. And we absolutely need to because the world needs dyslexic thinking. <laughs>